Hi, thanks for clicking and thanks for watching. If you have an S52X that you just picked up lately, or you're getting ready to buy one, you need this information before doing so. So stick around and find out what it is. Welcome back. Like I said, if you just bought an S52X or you're thinking about buying one, there's something that you need to know about this camera. First of all, I've only had this camera for about 30 days. Uh, I've been using it. Uh, I love the camera. The low light capabilities of it are great. Uh, it's an all around superb camera. Uh, it takes great video. But one of the reasons why I purchased this camera is because I wanted to be able to record in ProRes in very high resolutions. And uh, in order to do that with the S52X, you have to use an S external SSD drive uh, to be able to record at the 5.8K uh, in ProRes. Now, I didn't think that was going to be a big issue because I was purchasing a cage for the, the camera anyway because I wanted to add accessories like a monitor and a microphone and lights and things of that nature to the camera itself. Uh, so I didn't think it was going to be an issue adding an SSD. I purchased the small rig uh, MBME enclosure uh, for my SSD uh, with the mount. And it mounts real nice to the cage. It, it fits real well on there and, and it suits the purpose. Uh, I also got a Western Digital Black uh, gaming MBME. Uh, one of the fastest MBMEs you can get that's out there. And I put that into the enclosure and uh, hooked it up to the SSD on the camera and turned on the SSD. Now, I didn't think it was a problem at first because I normally record in C4K ProRes. And recording in C4K ProRes, the SSD has no problem. It, it actually records quite well. Uh, there's no timeouts or anything of that nature. Now, as soon as I tried to record in ProRes at 5.8K, after about 30 to 45 seconds worth of recording, all of a sudden it times out, it stops, and it says the SSD isn't fast enough. So, that being said, I went out and bought another cable for it, thinking that the cable was probably the issue. I went out and bought a Thunderbolt 4 cable. Uh, I put that on and the issue still exists at the highest resolution of 5.8K shooting in ProRes. So that being said, you really have to pay attention to the approved MVME or SSD drives for this camera. There's very limited ones that are listed on the Panasonic Lumix website. Um, the Samsung Portable SSD T5. The Portable SSD T7 Shield. Uh, the SanDisk Extreme Pro Portable SSD. The SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD. And the SanDisk Professional Pro, Pro Blade Transport. Those are all the drives that are listed for this camera, for it to be able to perform correctly. Uh, I'm sure there might be some other MVMEs out there that you can maybe plug into the small rig enclosure and it might work, but I can't imagine if the Western Digital Black MVME drive isn't working, why any others would work any better. The, the Black drive from Western Digital is an extremely fast drive. I would highly recommend you get the drives that are on the list if you plan on using ProRes in a 5.8K. Um, that seems to be the only way it's going to work. The problem with some of these drives is they're pretty expensive uh, and bigger. The regular SSD drives are much bigger than an MVME drive. Uh, so the enclosure is smaller for the MVME drive and it's easier to mount onto your camera and doesn't take quite, up, quite as much room up on the camera itself. Uh, the blade system from SanDisk, the SanDisk Professional Blade, now that particular drive is an MVME drive. It's no bigger than this, but that drive is considerably more expensive. Uh, than going out and just buying an MVME enclosure like the small rig enclosure and buying your own MVME drives and putting them in there. Uh, the blade system by SanDisk also, you can get a condor, a blue condor uh, handle for your cage that that drive slides into. 
But that being said, if you use a gimbal sometimes, which I do with my camera, I don't, I take the handle off when I put it on my gimbal and the, the monitor mounts on another mount that's on the gimbal itself. So I would still have to find another way to mount the blade system to uh, my setup when I use my gimbal. So again, if you're going to get an NVMe drive and you plan on using the ProRes uh, 5.8K resolution on the camera itself, you definitely, I would recommend going with the ones that are on the list. If not, you're probably going to be wasting your money. Again, I want to thank you for watching. And at the end, I'm going to put the playlist for Camera Corner over here, our new series on Rooster's Road Trips. It's where we talk about cameras and video equipment and things of that nature, uh, like we're doing today. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please click the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Please click that subscribe button below. It only takes a second to do so, and we would appreciate the support. Until next time, this is Camera Corner.